Hello and welcome. This is Darius Farzande. Thank you for opening up this email and connecting into what we have going on, which is an incredible 11 month. And this is a very important time. And I got this actually from Jared Hewitt and it is uh, really cool. It is all about the 11, 11, 11 gateway and what's going on this month as it is November 11th. And this is a really powerful month because 11 is a mastery number and there are a number of dates that I'm going to read here that actually align with these very powerful 11 numbers. So you may want to write these down and we're going to talk about what we did this week, but I'm also going to do something really special. So this is going to be a very jam-packed little video. I've got here a beautiful copper bowl and in it is some water. I think you can see that. And I'm going to be using a device that we've been talking about at U.S. Revolution called the Aquatone and I'm going to actually structure this water, but here's what I want you to do. I want you, as I'm holding this bowl of water in front of the video, I want you to send in whatever fears or worries or doubts or feelings that you have or things that you feel that you don't want in your field anymore to this bowl and we are going to be sending this frequency to structure that water and bring it into divine alignment. I wanna see what happens to you guys and girls so send it to me and the idea is to bring you into a higher resonance field, a higher place of love and light. And so we're gonna do that at the very end. All right, let's get started. It's been a big, big week and being in November, there's a lot going on. First of all, we're still in this Venus retrograde. So what we're seeing a lot of is people questioning sort of their relationship to themselves, to the world. There's a lot of things coming up around our relationships to abundance, relationships to kind of our worldview and how things are tying together and what's really going on and what does it mean to actually truly love yourself and truly be in your own power. A lot of people are asking these questions. It's a big, big time for that. And it's also a big time for self-love and self-power and empowerment and what that means for us. And so I wanna give you a few updates and things that we can do. 11 is a mastery month. So this is a month where we can actually really plug into that energy. And there's some really powerful dates here because 11 is an awakening number. If you're struggling with some of those Venus retrograde questions about like, what is my true power? What am I really here to do? How do I really connect in? Or how do I have a great relationship with myself or someone else or find love or have a great relationship with abundance? This is a portal, basically the 11 month. And it is gonna open up a path where if we ask the right questions, if we stay in the right frequency, if we hold on to those things that are of higher truth and possibility, we're gonna get the answers. And write down these dates because November 1st is a big energetic shift day. Now that was yesterday. November 10th is a big energetic shift day because it's 11 one November 11th, a big energetic shift day. You wanna write that one down. November 19th, big energetic shift day. November 28th and November 29th. And we can start to use these days and use some of these frequencies to create some big shifts. And I wanna tell you also a little bit about what we did this week because it was all about bringing that frequency into the highest place for you. Now we opened up the week with our dear friends, Pragit and Julianne, and we did a masterful activation with this Stargate using the essence energy. And the essence energy is really this life force energy, this life force energy that's available to all of us. And we brought it in through a guided transmission and activation through their guide, Alcazar. And incredible stories have happened with the Stargate energy. I mean, it actually was revealed to the guest, uh, uh, Mr. Pragit, all through uh, his time in the late 80s where he actually was had a experience visiting an alien craft, a higher dimensional craft, and, and this was revealed to him during an incredible meditation experience to go build this Stargate. And through this, they've been able to channel energies, channel frequencies, and the essence is all about bringing us back into that divine harmonic balance in our bodies and in our well-being. And there have been stories of people with huge shifts in their body and their vitality and their energy. So go listen to that call. and. There's an incredible essence activation. Uh, we had a lot of people writing in with huge shifts there. Now, the next day we had Jared Hewitt on and one of the things that I loved about Jared's work was that he's really connecting into this 11 energy field of the 11 gateway, which is the November to remember that he's been doing. But one of the things that we're doing in anticipation for his program 
that's starting up very soon is actually he did a powerful connecting to your divine purpose activation, which is all about really like letting go of the layers, letting go of the stuff that's not for you, letting go of those things that are holding you back, the illusions, the perceptions, and really getting to feel that divine essence. And it was profound. One of the most powerful Jared experiences, you want to listen to the first 10 minutes because he is literally just channeling and downloading things that just hearing them begin to shift your reality. And the truth is, that's really what Jared's been able to do. You know, he has this incredible story of being a young man, being uh, at a weight that wasn't healthy for him, and then having this breakdown experience in the hospital and not even wanting to be on this planet anymore. And then having to let go of all of that energy, all of those things holding him back, to really discover who he truly is and what he truly is. And what did it do? Well, in a, in a home that was more traditional religion and, and many of these other structures, he broke free and became one of the world's leading energy healers and psychics and master attuners and transformationalists. And it, it's incredible. So take a listen. Uh, Jared always wants to bring you into that space and that's what he did. And if you wanna find out more about what he's doing, it is a big energy gateway month and that's why he's doing the November to Remember program. Now, the next full day it was Halloween, so the frequency of that veil being thin and that time that they call Salhim, which was one of the ancient Druids uh, ritualistic times, which was a time when the frequencies between the worlds, between the dimensions, was very thin. Now, what we did, we scheduled that on Halloween so that if you are feeling like, and Peg Rose shares, there's maybe a curse on your family. There's maybe a lower energy. There's maybe a frequency that isn't serving you and your family. Maybe you feel like there's something in your house that just is holding you back. We did a process that actually would let that go and bring in your divine sovereignty. And we had one lady who had an incredible experience. She was listening to the call and she said, in my house, there's always been a very fine mist, a fog, and for the first time, it disappeared and her house felt completely clear. I think she was seeing some sort of entity, some sort of trapped emotion, some sort of trapped energy field in her home and that was gone. Um, so just amazing. Now, we also did a call. So listen to that process. We also the next day had Tarek Bibi on and we've been talking a lot about really disconnecting from this matrix. And we're seeing that the matrix is going pretty wild right now. I mean, there is a lot of pol polar energy. There's a lot of polarity in people and, and beautiful beings as we're all trying to figure out like, where's this earth going? And the best thing we can do is break out of the matrix, get out of all that energy, realign to who and what we are, realign to our truth, realign to our true power. And Tarek BB brought us into that space by doing something he's never done before ever in a group. We did a literal quantum jump. And that is if you've got an event in your life that was painful, maybe you had a time you can remember, well, before my first marriage, I was really happy. Or before this happened and this person passed on, I had all this energy. Or before you know, I had this accident, I felt really good, right? And now I feel like I've never been the same. We go back to that time before that experience and we quantum jump. And we're gonna quantum jump to a new timeline. What Tarek discovered, was that a lot of us try to clear away blockages and things keeping us from our path, impediments, but that we actually have the ability in this new energy opening up right now on the planet to actually decide to jump the timeline and never experience that thing that happened. Now we can take the lesson because we'll have the memory, but we don't have the quantum energy of that experience in our field because we've timeline jumped. Now think about that. That's the ultimate in human sovereignty. That's the ultimate in our soul choosing our experience. And I believe this is what so many people are waking up to is a new 5D earth where we're actually able to do that. And so listen to that call. It's incredible. One beautiful lady said after the session, I had no more wrinkles. I quantum timeline jumped out of the trauma, releasing the face from all of that experience. So you, we are gonna be timeless and we are gonna be free. So take a listen to that beautiful process. I also wanna share one of our most fascinating new guests, uh, two of them that are live this weekend. We brought in their work. One of them is Boris Aranovich and he has a device called the Aquatone and I've got one here. I wanted to show you this device actually does something I think a lot of people are familiar with, okay? It takes our water in our body and basically converts it from this type of structure if it is let's say deformed or holding frequency that's 
not in the alignment of pure love and brings it into this form, okay, in our body. And this is actually restoring the structure of water in our cells and in our body fluids. Now, one of the things that was uncovered through 40,000 different uh, people using this type of, for this product in 150 studies was that there's an intercellular communication that happens in our body. Our bodies communicate intercellularly through a gigahertz frequency that's very, very low. But if our body water is holding this stuff and is shaped like this, this frequency of intercellular communication is distorted. It's not correct. It's not in pure alignment. If it's like this, it flows. Now, when we think about traveling through our world, we think about walking around and doing things in our life, chances are, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we've heard that we feel as we're in past. We feel the energy of other people. We have 5G, we have computer networks, we have internet networks, we have maybe music, we have things in our cellular memory. We've heard about that a lot. What is it about cellular memory? that creates so much trauma. Well, could it be that in that cellular memory is actually a frequency that's affecting the cellular water and the communication of those cells in between it? Well, this is the, from you know, the work of Dr. Mishiro Emoto, and I think you can see this is water frequency that's basically discordant, not holding alignment or perfect alignment, as we would say. And in this case, this one is heavy metal music. This one is um, someone saying something like, you know, you make me sick. This is, gosh, Adolf Hitler, right? Just putting that on a vial of water changes the structure of that water to look like this or this or this, right? This is from Dr. Mishura Emoto. Rest in peace, bless him. Uh, he discovered that. Now, at the same time, when Dr. Mishura Emoto put, you know, beautiful words on there, look what happened. So you can see on this one, thank you. On this one, um, appreciation, love and appreciation. Look what happens to the water. On this one, look at this one, Mother Teresa, right? So if our body's water, which is we're like 70 some, 75% water, was actually aligned to this type of makeup, what would happen? And you'd say, well, gee, Darius, that would be great. How do we do that? Well, this device has actually been studied through 150 studies and 40,000 people have used it and they are miraculous results, not just from the standpoint of feeling better energetically, but from the standpoint of literal things in our body being shifted and changed. And uh, I just got mine. There was a whole guidebook on how to use it. And I wanna actually do this with our beautiful bowl of water. So we're gonna get to that in one moment. It's really gonna be cool. But this basically allows us to turn on different frequencies. One of the frequencies right here that I highlighted is the golden ratio. Uh, it lets us actually bring that body water into the golden ratio, and we can use that for things like muscle discomfort, for uh, aligning our bioelectric rhythm, for releasing stress, for balancing our cortex, uh, muscular skeletal discomfort, and things like that. We can use it for chronic inflam inflammation diseases, internal organs, joint and recovery. There's a whole myriad of different programs. And they tell you what is recommended in those situations. Now, again, I always say it's not a substitute for medical treatment or advice because it's not. It's not medical. It's working on the energetics, which our medical community doesn't necessarily work on. So this is the device. It's very easy to use uh, and it is very affordable. Uh, you simply turn it on, you're gonna hear a beep, and then you choose the mode. There's a mode for children, there's a mode for uh, like discomfort, there's a mode for recovery. Uh, so you choose the mode, and once you do that, you have certain light. So I'm gonna choose uh, mode two. And then there's a level, and based on what you wanna work on and the frequency, you choose the level, and then you turn it on. And once you turn it on, it is beeping and blinking and it's going to go. And this actually, let me get mine set up here because I may have done. Okay, there we go. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working in this golden ratio. And you can see this is blinking right now. And what I'd ask you to do, since I promised to keep this short, but I'm already going long, but we covered a lot, is send in right now your... Anything, we're gonna put it in the water. Now, we know a few things about water as well. I wanna say water is a binding agent. So I'm gonna actually do a quick prayer just to keep my field clear because I know a lot of stuff's gonna be sent to me and that's okay. So we're just gonna hold the space. All right, 
And what I want you to do is send in anything that you're dealing with into this water. And uh, I am divinely protected, so it's not going to me. Send it into the water. You can just take a moment, think about it. Think about something maybe you don't want to have in your field or fear or just sending it to the water. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to take this device, and I've never done this before, we're going to structure this water. We're going to bring this water into divine harmony. Now my, my idea is that through the radionics principles, this and this frequency that is connected to you through the quantum field is going to be structured in a good way. So let's do that. Send in whatever it is that may be holding you back or that you're worried about or that you want to let go over the weekend. We're just going to continue to do that. And as we do that, I'm just going to send you some love and light. Know that you are worthy. You matter. You are a gift. You are a blessing. You are a sovereign being. You are a free human. And you are an incredible ray of light. Sending in that frequency. Going out to you for a magnificent, blessed weekend. Everything changing structure now to the crystalline grid, to the higher 5D matrix, to the space and place of peace, of light, of oneness, of unity, of joy, of possibility, of the I love you energy, of the Mother Teresa energy, of the Gandhi energy of the love and light energy. Mm. All right, so thank you everybody for doing that. This water looks really good and uh, it is now structured. And so we are gonna hold the space that this goes right back to you, wherever you are, and know that you're loved, know that you matter. Thank you for a little bit of this energy update of where we are, November's a big month. Stay in alignment, stay in purity of your heart and soul, and if you feel off in any way, take a listen to the sessions. There's so much going on from Stargate to Jared Hewitt to Peg Rose, clearing your home of curses to Tarek Beebe, that beautiful quantum jump and, and Boris Arenovich and the Aquatone and so much more. I'm gonna be sharing some big updates this weekend as well. And I'm also gonna give you a sneak peek into what Joy Baker did for me. You're gonna get to hear my session and you may be wondering what my biggest blocks are well they are going to come through on that call and she also cleared them away it was one of it was the most precise reading i have ever had in my life and it's been just amazing she is truly an angel so we got a lot to share and we love you and honor you and thanks for being in my life and thank you for being who and what you are much love we'll see you in the next ul session